Hello everyone, this video is about delivering your AppGyver app to the Apple App Store. In this video I'll try to explain how you come from your AppGyver app, you've completed with it, if you've done all your developments, you're ready to go, you want to publish it in the App Store. And maybe before that, you may want to test it also with an app called Test Flight from Apple, where you can send to multiple de iOS devices where people then an invite so that people can start testing your app before you publish it, really publish to the App Store. Um, I counted 11 steps for this. It's quite a lot. Um, what I'm trying to do in this video is to show you all the steps in detail. There's two prerequisites for this. Make sure you sign up for the Apple Development Program A, and you really need to have a Mac for this. Um, it's just the signing, the conversion, even the uploading of the build file or the file which you have created in AppGyver, that you need to have a tool from Apple. Currently, there's only one available, which is in a Mac version. So that really limits you to only to a Mac. So it's really important. This video is purely about the Apple iStore. Um, there's a lot of converting going on. I've tried to explain it in the details. Um, when you do it once, I think you're quite easy to do it multiple times. It's that first time to explain how that works. Okay, so um, the first step we need to do is um, to create a, a public and private key. We use the uh, keychain access from on the Mac. So let's start doing that. So we go to Certificate, request certificate from authority. We'll put an email address in. Example.com, could be anything or could be the right, of course you need to do the right one. And um, I'm using this one, but it could be, uh, you enter need the right one in. So let's do continue. Let's store this in certificates and press save. And now we have the signing uh, a public and private key we created. You can see them also here. So that's step one. Okay, then we do step number two. two. You go to developmentup.com, you, you click on account, and then you get the overview. Uh, in the overview, you're going to select the certificates and profiles, and you're going to create a new certificate. And that will be a certificate for iOS distribution. So that's the one you need, and that's the one we need to distribute the app to the App Store. So we click Continue. We select the signing, the certificate signing request. And for that, we need to have the certificate signing request, what we just created in our previous step. We'll take that one. We do open, the continue. And we are now downloading. So now we have a distribution certificate. We then move this over to our, we put it all into one folder just for clarity. Okay, now we need to, the distribution certificate what we create, we now to, we need to install that back into the keychain because then we need to export it as a P12 certificate. So how do we do that? So we go here, we double click twice on it. You go to my certificates and you then see the uh, iPhone distribution, my one I've created. I just do the private key. And now I select both and then I export them. And I export them back here, certificates as a P12 certificate. And we press save again. Password here. Of course, I need to be a better password what I do. Okay, and we'll save it. And 
now you can see that certificate is now a P12 and we have now these three ones. The next step is to create is what they call an identifier. An identifier is a um, is an ID for an app. Um, what you then use to identify what type of service you want to use um, from Apple. So let's create a new one. We want to create an app ID. We want to create an app. We will give it a name and we call it this one is a user visual visualization visual visualization. Um, you can create ones which are specific for more like a bundle or a wildcard. We're going to make one which is explicit for this one. So this would be in my case, I'm going to use my company name. So company name is then this is my company and I call it a visual. So this is really specific for this particular app. We will use this one later on also. And then here it's the services um, or capabilities. Of course, it needs to be supported by AppGyver. Um, I think the only one which I currently support is the um, push not notification. I will do a separate uh, video about that. Um, now, so let's continue. I don't select anything. I don't need anything. I just need to create a prefix. I do continue. I have this one. So this one would I need to use later on. And I will then register, which then registers me this one here. So the next step is uh, we need to so-called uh, provisioning, provisioning profiles. Um, so we have to put everything together. So let's create that one. Again, we want the distribution into the App Store. So we select this one here. We select the one we just created. It's the visual one. We have to make sure we really check the right one. Then that's the certificate I just created. The name. Uh, visual profile. Could be anything. It's just for, for you to later understand what you need to do here and then we press generate we now ready with this we download that one and then we copy and paste it here so we have everything in the right place so now let's start the build process you can access the build and distribution through launch and then distribute and then open build service will then get you to this particular one in this case we're gonna this is really specific for the ios so let's configure what we need to do so that's the password i had the password really make a simple one two three four i need to get a distribution certificate what's the one what's the p12 we created so we upload them it's now been added um, we need to go to the bundle. That's the name you're going to give it. So this is the bundle identifier you can get from the from your profile. So it literally, is this bit here? Control Z. We do Control V. Then we select the the profile. What is this one here? We'll select it. Um, the scheme is if you want to call your app and open it up, we're not going to use it. This one, it's a more advanced kind of thing. I just want to show you how you get it into the store and how to test it. So do the next step. This is if you want to change all your icons. Again, I'm not going to change any icons. This to me is just a testing, but you can change all the icons, everything here, your launch screens, anything you can update here if you want to. Then next, um, these are all the usage strings. So when you ask for a camera or anything uh, no if, if you need to ask permission this is the question which is being asked so you can update it here to your own kind of like preferences then we do save and next and the next step is starting the build which is here 
So the only thing we have to give now is the version. So I'm going to create a test version 0.01. My short version is the same. I am going to select build app store. My clear runtime in this moment of the video is 4.57. That's the basic thing. And the only thing we have to do now is click build. So let me do refresh quickly here. You will see here now it's a state and cute. It can take up to 30 minutes. So the uh, power of editing uh, will, will continue um, when uh, the build is completed. Okay, so let's create the app um, in the App Store. We use App Store Connect for that. So appsecurity.apple.com, apps, you select the apps here, and you press app, you do a new app. It's an iOS one, it's a visual, or actually it's user analytics from Curiosity Lab. Our primary language is in this case English UK. That's the bundle we've created in the previous one of the, our previous steps. So I'll select that one. It's important to create. All right, this is a unique idea. I have app one user analytics. And so that one, this is for we need access. I'm the only one who could access, so that's why I do that. I didn't do create. And here you see the app. I don't have to do anything right now. I need to have this to then I can upload the file. So the build has now completed as the state is delivered you would have received a email there there it's something it's normally takes less than 30 minutes it could be longer um, so there's a number of thing just check the status page if the if the build service is available i had some problems yesterday as you can see i still know one queued but doesn't work you can just do a rebuild and then create another one so next step i'm just going to delete it or download it sorry download it which I download the, uh, the, the uh, IPA file, which contains all the code of the application. And I'm gonna upload that now into the App Store Connect. With the app metadata created in the Apple App Connect, I'm now gonna use a tool from Apple called Transporter where I can upload the EPA file into the app connect part of it. So here's the EPA, I'm gonna drag and drop that on here. It picked up automatically the app I had created in, in app connect, in Apple, uh, Apple app connect. And now I'm just gonna deliver it of course depending how long Muhammad how quick your uh, your internet connection is it then will then upload the app um, I will not let you see this and I'll show you when it's completed you see now that it has been uploaded um, you can see a log you can see how it's uploaded and now um, it's now available in the apple app connect as you can see now my build has now been available here in test flight i'm going to use test flight to test the app on my phone so i have to as a couple of compliance things you can see it's available here so let me click there. Uh, does your user's encryption select user stand? <laughs> this is all test, so I'm just gonna say um, I'm gonna say yes. Next, uh, no. And of course, you can then do this all later on. This is not really for my tutorial now. Does you have um, no? It's a couple of questions you need to answer. I uh, yes. Uh, is the app going to be available? No, no, 
and then I can say start internal testing. So that was step number one, number of questions you have to answer. And now I'm going to go to internal testing. I'm going to create a group. I'm going to just call it, call it test group. It's going to be just me. So it's going to be a small group. And I do create. Then it selects those because there's only one available. It selects that particular one. If there's multiple one here, um, you can then test it. Um, I have feedback on all kinds of things so I can get feedback. Um, I just have to enter a tester. Um, I select myself here now and I press add. So now, and then the next step is I have to, so test as to the group, um, test information. I just need to quickly, what we're going to test is a test for our app. Save this one. But again, this is only available when you do external testing. Turn, turn test. You send it to somebody outside of, of the group of users you, you who are users um, as part of your in the realm of the Upstar Connect, so your company kind of way. Um, that person has been invited. I'm just gonna quickly send again. Oh, that's it. I'm gonna send the. Yes, and we sent. So now that person has the invite. So I have now received the invite on my email address. Um, I will then click on. So it will. And you have to install a test light on your on your mobile. Um, you can then press accept. It says what to test, which version, and for how long. All these things are always ninety days, and then you have to. So I accepted it, I installed. It then installs it on my phone. And then I can open it like a normal app. And there you can see, it's now a normal running app on my phone. Um, I can see it on my app. I can go here, that's the icon and it's become a normal app, so let's just Throw that away one more time. So it comes really with all the normal features as a normal app, and there you go, and that's the app. Thanks for watching this video. The pros of submitting your video is not easy. I hope I've clarified you this in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I hope you learned something from this video. If you did, please click the click on the like button. Exciting about my upcoming videos, please click subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next video and stay curious.